Hello, this is Dr. Simone, and thank you for stopping by and taking the time to listen to this video. In 2020, there were an unprecedented amount of things that happened, right? We had coronavirus, we had lots of racial justice things that happened, but behind the scenes, we had an injustice that was happening that no one was paying attention to except the sickle cell community. We had a lot of people who died and a lot of that was due to people not being able to go to the hospital with someone and have someone advocating for them at a time when they were most vulnerable. This is especially the case during this pandemic. Because of that, I had to assist a lot of people by phone and by other means uh, to make sure that they exited the hospital better than they came in. But the year ended with a dear friend of mine being so grossly mismanaged that I had a decision to make. Something needed to change. I did not pick this fight. This fight picked me. And what I am realizing is that we need to organize to make sure that we stay alive. Not only because there are so there, there are so many people that uh, have great potential that we lost last year, but because there are therapies coming down the pipeline that we will miss if we are having um, end organ damage and all sorts of complications because we were grossly mismanaged. I understand that there are many doctors who don't know or may not care about how to manage sickle cell, especially because of the pain component and because of their bias towards pain management. So we need to organize to make sure patients get the best care that they can and uh, that they are able to be well for many of the treatments that will be coming down the pipeline, such as stem cell and bone marrow transplant. If you are considered too high risk because of end organ damage, including pulmonary compromise, you are not able to get those treatments. But a lot of people are being so grossly mismanaged that they can actually get end organ damage and pulmonary compromise and be precluded from those treatments. So what I'm doing is this. I'm trying to organize doctors, nurses, anyone in healthcare especially, but also caregivers and any uh, community-based organizers that are interested to be trained in being an advocate for a person living with sickle cell at the point of care when they present to the emergency room and during their hospitalization, they would be on standby with that patient. The patients will be screened um, and I am sure that we will have more patients than we know what to do with. But we need as many of you as possible that would like to be trained. I will train you uh, over a series of weekends based on the NIH guidelines uh, for sickle cell management and I will be using some of my uh, teaching videos from my YouTube teaching channel that I created. It will be simple, it will not be very complex medical language, but it will ensure that the patient gets treated according to protocol. If you are interested in doing that, please contact me at Dr. Simone says at gmail.com. Again, doctor completely spelled out D O C T O R Simone S I M O N E says S A Y S all lowercase at gmail.com. Thank you so much for being interested. Thank you so much for being willing to volunteer your time to help another person not lose their lives carelessly. Have a great day and a great week and a great rest of 2021. 2021 will be whatever we make it and I'm hoping for great organization and great response to this crisis that we're seeing.
Thank you and have a great day.